Now, as you stand before this door, I'd like for you to describe this door for me. Is it ancient or modern? What does it look like? It looks old. It looks old. What is it made out of? Heavy wood. Heavy wood. And as you observe this door, does it have a way for you to open the door? Look and see. Is there a handle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Now, does this door open towards you or away from you? Away. Alright, so I'd like for you now to open that door and step through this door. And as you do, you will see a different place and a different time. And I'd like for you to just acclimate and tell me what's the first thing that comes to your mind as you walk through that door. It's a green field. It's a green field. Very good. As you look at this field, describe it for me. Just open with trees on the perimeter. Mm-hmm. And this field, does it have any grass? Yes. How tall is this grass? Ankle. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's walk out into this field. And as you walk out into it, can you notice anything on your feet? Do you feel the field beneath your feet? Yes. Mm-hmm. What does it feel like? Feel the mm. texture, the temperature of it. What does it feel like? It's like dry grass. Mm -hmm. So does it feel crispy on your feet? How does it feel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you now to look down at your feet. Look at those feet that are walking across this field. What do those feet look like? What's the, what's the first thing that comes into your mind? Girl feet. Girl feet. Mm-hmm. Do these girl feet have any shoes or they're barefoot? Barefoot. Mm-hmm. So let's focus on the rest of these, of this body. Take a look and see what color are these feet. Right. Mm -hmm. And look at the body. How old are you in these feet? Young. Young. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it is that you're dressed. What's the first impression that you get? What are you wearing? Blue dress. Mm -hmm. What color is it? Beige. Mm -hmm. How long is this dress? Mm. Where does it end? Maybe mid calf. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now I'd like for you to just know what you look like. What color is your hair? Blonde. Mm -hmm. And look at your face. What do you look like? Mm -hmm. What comes to mind? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's look at your hands and see if you're carrying anything. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. so let's find out. Since you're in this field, where is it that you're going? What does it feel like? What is this place that you're in? I just like being there. I like being there. Very good. So allow yourself now to the place where you go to usually. Tell me where you go. 
What's your favorite spot? Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to go to this spot and tell me what you do under the trees. I just look up. Mm -hmm. So as you look up, tell me what you see. What's up mm -hmm. there that you look at? Mm -hmm. Just green. Just the trees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like for you now is to absorb that feeling. Absorb that feeling of being in that beautiful spot that you love so much. Allow that tree to give you its energy and its peace. Feel it through every cell of that body. And tell me how that feels to connect with that tree. Peaceful. Peaceful, very good. So now we're going to go to the place where you live. I'd like for you to close that scene <clears throat> and see yourself in the place where you live in that lifetime. Be there now. Mm, I see two places. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you see. What's the first thing that pops up? Mm. Looks like a barn. A barn? Mm-hmm. What's the other place that you see? Mm. Like a little house. Mm -hmm. So pick the one in which you spend most time in. Which one feels best to you? A little house. All right. So I'd like for you to describe that little house to me. What does it look like? It's like wood. Mm -hmm. It's a wooden house. How do you get inside? A uh, wood door. Mm hmm. So let's go towards that little house and let's open up that door. And tell me what happens when you go in. What do you see? Hmm. Um. A wood table. A wood table. Mm hmm What else do you see around? Mm. Just beds. Beds. Are these beds in the same room? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now as you walk into this place, do you feel that you are alone? Or the others live there with you? I don't feel alone. Mm -hmm. But there's no one there. All right. So let's find time when someone is there. I'd like for you to close the scene and see yourself at the same place, eating a meal with others. Be there now. A mom and a sister. A mom and a sister. Take a look down and see what you're eating. Hmm. What's in front of you? 
Carrots. Carrots. Mm -hmm. Potato. That's all I see. That's all you see. So now let's take a look at your mother and your sister before you. And I want you to use your feelings, your knowing. At times we recognize these souls from lifetime to lifetime. Look into their eyes and see if you recognize these souls. Do they feel familiar to you? I don't think so. I don't think so. How do you feel with them? Good. Good. Yeah. Mm hmm How old is your sister? Mm. Maybe ten. Mm hmm And now I'd like for you to listen for your name. What do you hear? What's the first name that comes to your mind? Mandy. Mandy. When I say the name Mandy, does that resonate with you? Mm. Not really. Mm -hmm. So look, listen for your name. Listen in conversation as your mother and sister talk with you. How did, how do they address you? Allow the name to surface. You may even see it before you. What comes to mind? Maybe Elizabeth? Mm-hmm. When I say the name Elizabeth, does that resonate with you? I think so. All right. So, Elizabeth, I'd like for you to close this scene now. And I'd like for you now to move through time and space to another time in that same lifetime when something important happened to you. Be there now. What's happening? Mm hmm So let's go back to that moment in your life when you were with your family and let's find out where it is that your father is. What happened to your father? I feel like he's just working. He's just working. What does your father do? I think it's a farm. A farm. Very good. Do you work on the farm, Elizabeth? Yes. All right, so see yourself working on the farm and tell me what you do there. I get eggs. Mm -hmm. Are you responsible for the chickens? I think so. Mm -hmm. See yourself doing that now. What do you do? Just wake up. Mm -hmm. Color fade. Mm -hmm. Good. So now let's move forward to another important time when something happened. Be there now. Where are you now? Next. Mm. Allow the images to come. Where are you? What does this place feel like to you? Mm. Use your feelings. Are you indoors or outdoors? 
I don't know, outside. Outside, very good. I see a wagon. I see a wagon, very good. Tell me more. Is someone driving this wagon? No. Mm -hmm. Where is this wagon? Just on the side of the barn. Mm -hmm. What does that wagon represent to you? Do you use that wagon? Do you ride it? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I... I think it's just her... Uh, farm stuff. Okay, very good. So let's find out what's important about this day. What else is happening there? Anything? Mm. What do you see yourself doing? Um, maybe hiding under it. Mm -hmm. so let's find out why you're hiding under this wagon today. I want you to use all of your senses and tell me what emotion is associated with this hiding. I think it's fun. Mm -hmm. Are you playing? I think so. Mm -hmm. Let's see who, you're, see who you're playing with. I think my sister. Mm -hmm. What happens next, Elizabeth? Does she find you? Hmm. I think I get hurt on it. Let's find out what happens. Tell me what part of your body has been hurt. I think my lower lower torso. Mm -hmm. What's happened? I think it rolled on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens, Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. Accelerate that scene and let's see what happens. Do you survive this? Mm -hmm. happens to your body? I don't think I can walk. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now to go to another moment in time in that same lifetime to see another important event. What happens? Hmm. What happens? I see me going to school in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Um, upset. Mm -hmm. Jealous. Can't play. Tell me more. You can't play? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It does not get better. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now to get a little older. Close that scene and now go to a time when you're older. Let's see what's happening. How old are you there? I don't 
of C. Mm -hmm. So move to the last day of your life. Move to the last day. Second bed. Second bed. How old are you there? Young. Mm -hmm. What's happened to your body to make it sick? My injury. Mm -hmm. What has it done to you? I think I just got sicker. Mm -hmm. All right, Elizabeth, so now I'd like for you to accelerate the time until the moment before you take your last breath. And look around you and tell me if anybody is there with you. Mm -hmm. Who's there with you? Mom and dad. Mm -hmm. So take your last breath now. Releasing yourself from that body. Tell me how it feels to release that body. Light. Light. And now you can look back at that lifetime. Every lifetime has a purpose and a lesson. What was the purpose of that lifetime? Why did you need to live it like that? I wasn't supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. I didn't listen. You didn't listen. So what lessons have you taken with you from that life? Do what I'm told. Mm -hmm. Very good. So tell me where you go to, Elizabeth. What happens to your spirit? Do you see next as you leave that body behind? Mm. And connect with all of your senses. Just floating. Floating. Describe this place that you're floating in. Just light floating. Mm -hmm. It's not a place. Mm hmm. So allow yourself to feel the sensation of that floating, reminding you of what it feels like to just float. And let's see where you go to. Follow your path, Elizabeth, and see where you go to next. Where do you end up? Mm -hmm. In this place that you're floating, is a place that you're lost? I think so. Mm -hmm. Keep going and tell me what happens. Do you ever meet any loved ones? Mm -mm. So if you continue to float, how is it that you've met Jill? How are you associated with Jill? Are you a part of her? Or are no. you are you attached to her? No. What association do you have with her? Why has she seen your life? I don't know. Did you want to tell Jill something? Did you need something? I think it... She has a pain. She has what? Pain. She has pain. Is this your pain, Elizabeth? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Let's find out, Elizabeth. 
if this pain that she's feeling is your pain or her pain? What part of her body are you causing this pain? Where is this pain? Her hip. Her hip. So let's find out, Elizabeth, why it is that Jill needed to come into this lifetime with this issue on the hips. Why is that? Why did she need this memory? Is this your pain, or is it Jill's pain? It's mine. Mm -hmm. So, Elizabeth, why is it that you did not go to the light when you left your body? Why didn't you go home? I wasn't at home. Mm. But there is a home. You just didn't look for it. Would you like me to help you find it today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Inside of you is a spark of light. This is the God spark. Elizabeth, I want you to look inside of this God spark. And I'd like for you to expand it. Tell me what it feels like to expand this light within you. Warm. Warm. Keep expanding it more and more. Tell me what that feels like, Elizabeth, to expand this light. Make it as big as your body. What does it feel like? Mm -hmm. And as you expand even more, is there any pain in your hip anymore? Mm, no. No, because you see, Elizabeth, this light that's within you, this comes directly from your source, from the one that created you. Are you ready now to go home? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'd like for you now to detach yourself from the body of Jill. And Jill, I'd like for you to go inside of your body. Find the cords that are attaching Elizabeth to your body and begin cutting away as Elizabeth removes her essence from your body. Elizabeth, tell me when you have completely disconnected. Still there. Mm-hmm. We'll keep adding that light and cut all of the cords. Keep cutting away. And tell me what these cords look like that are attaching her to your body. They're white. Mm -hmm. And what happens as you, cord you cut the cord? I get lighter. Mm hmm. Keep cutting all the cords until you've cut them all. Okay. Very good. So now, Elizabeth, how long have you been with Jill? Her life. Her life. And what else have you been doing to her? Besides making her hip hurt? 
Mm. Just causing pain. Mm -hmm. Are you ready now to ask for her forgiveness for causing her all this pain? Mm. All right, go ahead and tell her. Tell Jill. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Jill, do you forgive Elizabeth for not knowing any better, for not knowing to go home? Yeah. All right. So now, Elizabeth, you can hear that she has forgiven you. I want you to go up through the top of her head right here. Pull all of your essence out of her body. And Archangel Michael is there. He's there to take you home. Tell me when you see him. Mm -hmm. What does he look like to you? Fine. Blue, beautiful. So I'd like for you to take his hand. And Elizabeth, he will take you straight home. And tell me who's there waiting for you. There's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. What do they say to you? They just smile. Mm -hmm. Give them a big embrace and may the light of the universe always accompany you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. And now, I'd like for Archangel Raphael to step forward. And as he embraces your body, feel his beautiful green light going through all of the space where Elizabeth resided and beginning to seal all of that space where she was attached. Like a beautiful green ointment, sealing and healing along the way. And tell me when it's done. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now that we have the body in that area sealed, I'd like for you to do a scan of your body and see if there are any other shadows or movements in your body that shouldn't belong there. Begin from the top of your head all the way to your toes and see if there's something there that doesn't belong. What do you feel? Lower back. Lower back. Very good. What does it look like to you? Give it a color. Red. Red. Does it have any type of shape? Mm -mm. All right. So now let's identify if this is something that is attached to you or something that Jill created. What is this thing on the back? All right, so I'm going to take my hands and move it over your body and begin to bring up that energy. That energy, that red energy in the back of the back and the spine. And you can now express yourself. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What may I call you, please? What name can I call you? Can I call you Joe? Does that resonate with you? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. How about Charlie? Mm hmm. What's your name? A name is a personal thing. How can I identify you? Give me a name. Mm. What's the last name you had when you had a body? Do you ever have a body before? I don't think so. All right, so if you've never had a body, what kind of energy are you? Why are you there? 
Mm-hmm. I got an animal. An animal. What kind of animal are you? Look at your shape. A fly. You fly. Mm-hmm. How big are you? I'm big. You're a big flying yeah. animal? Yeah. What do you look like? Red. Mm-hmm. Like prehistoric. Prehistoric. Very good. So tell me why it is that you are in the spine. Has Jill called you for? Has she invited you into her body? Mm. No. No. So how is it that you found your way inside her body? She's weak. She's weak. Mm Mm-hmm. And from this weakness, what do you get? Injury. What do you get? I got in. You got in through an injury? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. And what have you been doing to Jill all this time? Just pain. Just pain? Yeah. Why do you cause her pain? What does that do for you? I like it. You like it? Do you benefit from her pain? No. So why do you like giving her pain? Keep her down. Keep her down. Did you ever know Jill from a different incarnation? Uh, I don't know. Take a look. Go through all her lifetimes and tell me how you knew the soul. Did you have anything with her in a different lifetime? I don't see. All right, so why is it that you need her now? I don't. You don't. So, what would you like to tell Jill about all of this that you've been doing to her? Are you proud of yourself? I liked it. You liked it? Well, I'll tell you something else that you can like even more. You see, There is a spark of light within you. And this spark of light is going to give you back your wings and your power. Find that light within you and tell me when you see it. Yeah. Very good. Now I'd like for you to expand that light. And watch what happens to you as a, you expand this light. I'm not red. Mm-hmm. What color are you? Brownish. Mm-hmm. What do you look like? I look like a dinosaur. Mm-hmm. Flying. Flying. Mm-hmm. Are you ready to fly home now? Yeah. All right. So detach from her body, please. And now that you have your freedom, what would you like to tell Jill? Sorry. Mm-hmm. Take a deep breath in. Jill, can you forgive this 
flying dinosaur for giving you this pain? Yes. All right. I'd like for you to go ahead and detach this flying dinosaur from your back, allowing it to fly free. And I'd like for you now to go ahead and follow that light and tell me where you go. In the trees. Very good. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now, I'd like Archangel Raphael to step forward once again, putting that beautiful green light into the spine. And tell me now what that spine looks like. Bright. Bright. Very good. Keep adding that beautiful light in there. And as you continue, I'd like for you to continue that scan through your body to see if there's anything else in your body that shouldn't be there. What do you see? Nothing. Very good. So now that we've gotten these entities out of Jill's body, let's find out a little bit about why you have been brought here into this session. I'd like to ask about Jill's spiritual path. Why did she come here to this earth? What was she meant to do? help people. To help people. Is she doing that now? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are her gifts? She told me that she had gifts and then they went away. What happened? I think she has to go to the restaurant. Ah, very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap her shoulder when I do she will open her eyes I'll remove the microphones she'll be able to go to the bathroom and then when she comes back she'll go deeper and deeper eyes open now you said that Jill had come here to help others we want to find out a little little bit about her gifts and why they were turned off she said she used to be able to listen to spirit, to the deceased, and all of a sudden, they got turned off. What happened? I protect her. Mm -hmm. What was happening to her? It was... Making us was hurting her. It was hurting her. Was she not prepared for it? Mm. Mm hmm. So, what is it that was hurting her? The energy. The energy. Mm hmm. Now, she tells me that she has had. A lot of headaches. What was causing these headaches? Built up of energy. The build up of energy. So let's take a look at her head now. When we first started this session, she had that build up of energy. What has happened to the energy as we've been talking? It's still there. It's still there. So let's find out a way that we can release that energy. What would be the most appropriate place for her to release that energy? Her third eye. Third eye, all right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and create for her some sort of a faucet in her third eye. And this faucet will be used so that she can open it up and release this energy. Tell her what this faucet looks like. Silver handle. Silver handle. Mm-hmm. 
spigot. Mm -hmm. Spigot, very good. So let's begin testing this now. And let's open up that faucet, that spigot. And let's see what comes out. Take a look and see what it looks like as that energy begins to flow out. Where does it go? Like what? Mm -hmm. Thick. Mm -hmm. What color is it? Does it have one? Whitish. Mm -hmm. So let's keep draining all of that out. And I'd like for you to send that energy directly down to Gaia. Allow it to flow back into the earth. Because Mother Gaia can absorb that energy. Transform it. So allow yourself to release all of that energy now. And tell me what's happening to her head as that's flowing out. Less pain. Mm -hmm. So let's make it even flow out faster. I'd like for you to go ahead and begin putting in through her mind, through her crown, something that will flush out that energy. You can put in some light. What kind of light would allow her to flush out all of that energy that's built up? White. White. Very good. So open up that crown and allow that white light to begin flushing out all of this stagnant, built up energy. Feel it flowing through that mind as it pushes it out, out through the third eye and down to Mother Earth, connecting source down to the Mother. And tell me how that feels. Very good. And let's keep that connection going through this session so that when she leaves here today she will have a squeaky clean mind without all of that energy built up and at the end of the session you can automatically close that spigot on its own when it has completely released all the energy is that okay very good so now she wants to know what she's doing in her sleep state where does she go you to show her a picture in her mind's eye of some of the adventures she takes. I see space. I see space. Very good. Stars. Stars. Mm -hmm. Is there a place where this soul goes to? The spirit? No. No. So in this space with the stars, what does she do out there? She floats. Mm -hmm. And how does that help her? What does she do with that floating sensation? Relax. Relax. Mm -hmm. Does she connect with anyone? look and see. I don't see anyone. Mm -hmm. oh. 
All right, so let's reconnect once again. And let's look around her room as she comes back into her bedroom. And tell me if there's anything in her bedroom that looks out of sorts. So why is it that she feels activity there? It says that she feels like she, there's a portal in her room. The air's heavy. Mm -hmm. What's causing that? Spirits. Spirits. Why are the spirits there? Try to they like it there. They like it there. What is it that they like so much? What are they attracted to? Their energy. Their energy. Is this both of their energies? Yes. So it's their bedroom is like a porch light. They're all coming towards that light? Sometimes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, are these spirits endangering them in any way? No. No. So, what would you like to tell Jill about these spirits? Is this anything that she needs to be aware of or protect herself from? Just boundaries. Boundaries. What should she do to set her boundaries? Just tell them. Mm -hmm. So does she need to do this every day? No. Okay. Just set her boundaries. These are the perimeters. No rules. No rules. Very good. Now, when she was little, she said that she saw some white figures that used to walk the foot of her bed. Who were they? Alien. Hmm. What did they have to do with her? Protecting. They were protecting her. From what? Negative. Mm -hmm. Was she attracting negative things to her when she was a child? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. So who were these aliens that were with her? Were they connected in any way? Protectors. They were protectors. Do they still protect her? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many are there? A lot. A lot. Now, when you say alien, do you mean extraterrestrial? Mm, yes. Okay. So, why is it that these extraterrestrials are connected with the life of Jill? Who is she to them? Hope. Hope. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. They need... What do they need? Her to be safe. They need her to be safe? Why is that? What is important about this child? She's going to help. She's going to help? In what way? In the end. Mm -hmm. How will she be helping in the end? Telling people. Mm -hmm. 
are they going to be telling? The truth. Mm -hmm. Does she know what the truth is? No. How can she tell the truth without remembering? She'll know. She'll know. Is this child that you're protecting one of yours? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her a little bit about that? Does she choose to be here? To tell the truth? Yes. Mm -hmm. What word are you trying to find? Describe it. Use her vocabulary. There's a lot of her. There's a lot of her? She's not the only one. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. We need her to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. People fear. What do people fear? Us. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? From space. Mm -hmm. If you're from space, what is it that you're doing on Earth now, protecting this child? Job. She has a job. Mm -hmm. What's the job? To tell people not to not to worry. Not to worry. No. About what? Mm -hmm. Not to worry, we're not hurting them. Mm -hmm. Is this one of yours? Yes, she's a part. Mm -hmm. Spinning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is the spinning taking her? Like a vortex. Mm -hmm. Control the spin so that she doesn't feel it and just take her through without the feelings. Where are you taking her? It's still spinning. Mm -hmm. Mm. You could stop the spinning. You tell me that people shouldn't be worried that she has a job. Did you place her here on Earth? Yes. In what way did you place her here? She 
she needs to tell him we're good and we wouldn't hurt them. She needs to tell them, the humans, yes. that you're good and you're not going to hurt them. Yes. Mm -hmm. We don't want destruction. We don't want destruction. She has a question about her blood type, Rh negative. Yes. What is that blood? Is that from, from you? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Where did it come from? Our first people. Your first people? Tell me what that means, the first people. The first people on the planet. The first people on the planet had Rh negative blood? Our first people. Our first people, okay. Yes. And is and is she one of the first people? No. No. How did she get here then with that blood? Did you have anything to do with her birth, with her conception? Yes. Can you tell her what that was it all about? We chose her. Mm -hmm. Mom. You chose her mom? To give birth. To give birth. Was it? That was it. Is that why she was adopted? Yes. Mm -hmm. Were her family members chosen? Did they have anything to do with it? No. No. Well, she'd like to put all of those negative things that she's done behind her and live in peace. What would you tell her about all of this? Why did she choose such a difficult journey? It makes her brighter. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that? Her difficulties made her stronger and brighter. So no matter what she went through, it generated more light? A lot more light. Mm -hmm. What if she had been brought up in the family where she was born into? Would she be bright, brightest now? No. No. So she cho shows that on purpose. Yes. Can she forgive herself now for all of those ideas that she wasn't good enough, wasn't loved enough, didn't belong? And she now understand that sometimes you need to create friction yes. to create this energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, even if you look at a, at a stream with the rocks in the stream, the only way that you can create energy is by having them go through that very big fall. And in the fall of the water, it creates electricity. Is this what she was doing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. I don't think so. All right. So 
Can you focus in on her ears now and tell her why her ears are ringing all the time? Messages. Mm -hmm. What are these messages all about? Upgrading. Mm -hmm. Getting ready. What is she getting ready for? Help people. Mm -hmm. How will she be helping them? When they're scared, mm -hmm. they'll come to her. They, things will change. Mm -hmm. Is this something to do with the earth? It's an energy change. Okay. Will that scare people, this energy change? Yes. So how is it that Jill is prepared to handle this energy change? She came here for that. She came here for that. Very good. Very good. And she asks about the new earth. Is she ready? Almost. Almost. How can she ready herself even more? Be positive, love herself. Mm -hmm. Good. And will Brett be joining? Yes. Mm -hmm. They'll go together? Yes. All right. How close are they to having this happen? Hard, hard to say. Hard to say. Very good. Now, we talked about her gifts before. Are there any loved ones that would like to come forward and say anything to Jill today? My grandpa. Mm -hmm. What does he say? <laughs> what does grandpa want to say to Jill today? I love you. What advice would you like to give to Jill? I'm so proud of you. Anything else you would like to tell her? So take a deep breath in. Jill, what would you like to tell your grandpa? I miss you. Mm -hmm. I miss you. It's not fair. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, grandpa. What would you like to say about that? It was my time. Are you helping, Jill? Mm -hmm. Tell her how you help her. I'm always with her. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you would like to tell her today? I'll never leave. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anyone else there, Grandpa, that would like to give her a message? Very good. Thank you so much. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Disconnect now. Now I'd like to know if there are any other messages that you'd like to give Jill today. We've asked all her questions. Are there any? Is there anything that I haven't asked that you would like to tell her? She needs to meditate more. Mm -hmm. She's happy when she does. Very good. Very good. Anything else? Can you tell her the reason why you brought her here today, for example? She needs to hold the light. Mm -hmm. Hold the light. 
continue educating, helping people. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much for these messages. Are we complete? Yes, thank you. Very good. Thank you so much. All of you. There you go. Let's ground you. How does your body feel? <sighs> Tingly. Yeah. You put a lot of energy through this body. I know. Wow. I feel like it. Yeah. I have wet eyes. Mm-hmm. Wonder why. <laughs> so did you think this session was going to be like it was? No, different no, than what you thought. Different than what I thought. Mm -hmm. See how you were fighting at the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. No, I felt like I was fighting the whole time. Yeah, you did great. I did. You did Good. fantastic. Good. Do you feel that this is something that you want to keep personal? No. You want to share this? Yeah.